Oko, so for this problem, what I want to do is show you how to find the horizontal and the vertical asymptote. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a horizontal asymptote test. And what the horizontal asymptote test tells us to look at is going to be the exponent of our leading term of each polynomial in the denominator and the numerator. Now to look at that leading term, we have to make sure that our polynomials are in descending order. Once they're in descending order, I can now compare their exponents. And when their exponents are the same, what we do so you could say 2 and 2. What we do is we take the leading coefficient. For the denominator, it's going to be 1. We take the leading coefficient, and we say the division of the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the polynomial for the denominator is going to be our horizontal asymptote. So therefore, the line y equals 3 is going to be our horizontal asymptote, the line that our function is going to approach horizontally. Now, the vertical asymptote remember is going to be our constraint on our domain, right? It's going to be what cannot be, what x values um, are going to be our kind of constraint. Well, when looking at this polynomial, the only kind of constraint I see for as far as our domain is we cannot have values that are going to be 0 as the denominator. So to find the values um, that are going to make our denominator 0, I set x squared plus 1 equal to 0. So I want to find the values that are going to make my denominator equal to 0. Well, when solving for this, I get x squared equals negative 1 square root. And we notice we cannot take the square root of negative 1. So therefore, there are not going to be any horizontal asymptotes. This is actually we'd be dealing with an imaginary number, correct? So we're not going to have any horizontal, um, sorry, vertical asymptotes. Therefore, our domain is going to be all real numbers, so from negative infinity to infinity. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do the horizontal and vertical asymptote. Thanks.